Hey guys, this is Harmony DM from Teach Bra Code, and today we are going to talk about session zero. So should I run a session zero? What is a session zero? Let's jump right in. So first of all, uh, session zero is basically like a pre-campaign meeting. You get all of your players together and you kind of will tell them a little bit about the campaign. Um, I would strongly recommend uh, handouts. I love Home Brewery by Natural Crit. Um, I can make some really pretty looking handouts. Um, I will actually put my handout that I give to my players um, during session zero down in the uh, comment section or whatever below. So really the thing is you kind of are gonna tell them, introduce them to your world a little bit. And this is your time when you can actually talk to your players um, out of game. So you can actually talk to them, um, you know, as a person rather than as a player and or a character and you can kind of say like, what are you expecting from the game? Like, are your players new? Um, do they kind of want a stereotypical, you know, fantasy adventure? Um, are they looking for something a little bit different? Are they looking for like a sci-fi adventure? Do they want like maybe something more nautical with guns and pirates? Um, you know, granted you are the DM, so it is your world, but you can always incorporate, you know, elements that they're looking for with your world to make it more interesting and more enjoyable for them. Um, another thing that I do at Session Zero is I print out a bunch of blank character sheets and um, I ask my players to bring their player handbooks and then I bring my player handbook. And then we sit there at the table and we actually create the characters there together. I think that's a really great way of doing it because the players can talk to one another, maybe how they know each other, um, their characters know one another. Um, if they have any questions, especially if you have new players, the idea of creating a character sheet is very daunting. Um, I know there's a lot of good material out there, but definitely would recommend doing that character creation um, in a group setting. It's very helpful, you know, and they can also say, um, you know, do you think I should take um, you know, cure wounds. Do you think that's a good spell to take? Well, yeah, we don't have a healer, so you know, even though you're a, um, you know, sorcerer, cure wounds is a good thing to take, or so on or so forth. Um, so that's a really important thing. So I would definitely recommend though, um, doing your character creation at your session zero. Um, another thing that's really important is as the DM, it's kind of uh, the spot, the time when you set your ground rules. So um, I would probably mention at that point in time, like I do not roll with a screen. So whatever I roll, I roll. Um, you kind of want to let them know, like, you know, I'm not one to fudge rules. So uh, if, you know, I roll a 20, it's going to be a 20. It's going to be a critical hit. Um, so on and so forth. Um, you may want to say though too, like if it's a casual game, if you're one to maybe fudge rolls or you're someone who's like, um, I'll help your players stay alive by, you know, throwing in random NPCs, um, you know, for fo like cannon fodder or something like that. Um, you might want to give them that expectation. Um, but you also might want to say, listen, you guys create your players. Uh, if your players die, they die, and I keep a folder of blank character sheets. So uh, keep that in mind. Don't play stupid. Um, if you want to be a you know murderous uh, you know person who goes on rampages, there are going to be consequences, and you may have a mob come after you and kill your character, and then a blank character sheet for you. So um, session zero is really the time and place that you kind of lay all the cards on the table. You get to know your characters and what they want. Um, another thing that's important with the character creation um, is also the backstories of the characters. Um, I kind of touched on this before, you know, how they know each other. But also, like, why are they adventuring? Especially, like, if your player is, like, a halfling. Why aren't they just chilling, you know, smoking their pipe, eating their, you know, breakfast and second breakfast and lunch and so on? Like, why do they want to go on an adventure? What's their drive, their mission? What's, you know, pushing them onwards? So, um, you know, that's a really important thing to cover in session zero as well. So what do you guys cover in your session zero? Um, do you think it's important to run a session zero? Um, I do. Um, I think that it 
makes for a better playing atmosphere. Um, because I always feel like if you don't run a session zero, um, I've been in campaigns as the player where there hasn't been one. It's kind of just like a random like hodgepodge and like you're getting to learn the characters on the fly. And sometimes your characters don't mesh well together or you end up in a party with like two halflings, a half orc, um, and no healer. It's a very uh, unique uh, party that happened once. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, definitely recommend the uh, Session Zero. So uh, tell me what you think and definitely comment down below. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.